So you need some help from someone on Fusion, on CNC, 3D printing, whatever, right? You're working on something and you want to share the file and you want to get some feedback. I've been on both sides of this and usually what I get is an email and a photo and I don't really know what to make of it. It's hard to describe and it feels like you're working with a blindfold when you're trying to help someone. So let's make it easier for everybody, even if you're not great with recordings or cameras or anything like that. I want to make this as easy as possible. So if you have this Fusion model and you need feedback, I would say the easiest way is actually probably going to be on your phone. So let's look at that first. Everything in today's video will be free from Fusion to the recorder. So search for Loom in the App Store. It's called the Loom screen recorder download that this is not an affiliate i'm not paid i'm not a secret employee none of that i have found that it's pretty easy for most people to use loom which i really like you can choose to sign up or you can sign in so if you already have a google account like a gmail and you know how to sign in then click that click sign in and I'm just going to use my sign in with Google at the top. Choose your, if you have multiple Gmails, pick the, the Gmail that you want to use. And now we have this dashboard where your videos are going to live. You only get up to five minutes and you get, I don't know, 20 videos or 10 or whatever, but you can just get rid of the ones you don't need. This is totally free and pretty easy. The next thing in the app store to look for is go look for Fusion. And this is the viewer, Fusion 360 or Autodesk Fusion as it's listed. Download this app as well. And this is going to let you view files that people share with you or that you want to share. It will have you log in. So you'll need to use your Autodesk login for your free account, for your paid account, whichever you're using. Once you finish logging in, one little gotcha I want you to be aware of is what team hub you're looking at if you've ever looked at someone else's or you've had a paid team hub in the past whatever the reason might be go up to the little person icon make sure that it's looking at the right uh, files that are yours so there's this switch team option for whatever reason i'm looking at the main team which belongs to my paid account this is not the one that's attached to my free account Tyler Beck is my free account, and that's the one that has 10 files at a time. And if I come in here, I can look for the, the thing I want help with, right? So your files should be here. You can look at your activity. I was playing with furniture earlier. Maybe I could look at that, or I can do a search for furniture. That's just what the name of the file is. Search for that file, click on it. And now that you've got it open and ready to go, familiarize yourself with the file before you ask for the help, think about everything that this person might be wondering, right? So we can share this file and people do that with me all the time, but I don't have any context. I don't know what they want, right? It's great to get the file, but without some important notes, which we can come in and make notes all over this, but I think this will be even easier for you. So let's start. I'm gonna go back and swipe from the bottom and go to my Loom account, that purple flower looking thing. Down at the very bottom is the little Loom flower. We'll just call it the Loom flower, right? So click that. And what we're gonna do is hit continue. We're gonna start, I wanna hit screen at the bottom and I wanna hit audio. So I'm gonna hit record screen. And this is a gotcha. You wanna make sure this is on. Hey, definitely give it a little bit of thought on finding decently quiet audio. So if you're you know, in a windstorm, maybe wait a few minutes and then do it inside or just make sure it's just not crazy loud. Once you've done that, you're gonna hit this start broadcast. And now it's started. It, there's the stop broadcast showing me that it's ready and there's the timer going. I'm gonna swipe from the bottom with on the iPhone and go back to Fusion. And now I'm gonna use my normal mouse gestures, or excuse me, finger gestures with the iPhone. You, one thing I'd encourage you to do is go zoom out so that the person can see everything we're talking about. Hey, this is the design I need help with. Here's where I'm struggling. Zoom in where you want, and then 
if it's hard to call it out, let's say that you said, hey, do you see that corner? Well, there's a, there's a few corners, but I'm going to use the little pencil in the bottom right, and I'm going to draw. This corner is where I'd like some help. If you could help me figure out how to create a rounded extrude that fills this in to where it would sit on top of that circular post. I want to basically, and here's where it's interesting, I'm going to hit this little X, it'll let me stop drawing. And now I can zoom back in. I could say, okay, I'm going to draw some more. I basically want to fill all this in to have it extruded right there and match. Can you help me with that? The next thing I would do from your phone is come up to the share file. Click the share file and we're going to share this item. Now I'm on the free account, which means I can share this link and anyone else can open it. They will not be able to download it and CNC it and 3D print it or whatever. Um, that might be a, a nice um, positive for you. But the download is terrific, and that's a part of the paid options for when you want to collaborate with people. It's really nice for that. But um, this is still terrific for be able to open the file and play with it and investigate it together. Um, but when I have your Loom video, that's going to help a lot. So swipe from the bottom, go back to your Loom video, hit stop recording at the bottom, and then you'll have to hit stop broadcast. Once it does this, it's now gonna have, I'm gonna swipe from the bottom or hit the little X on the Loom, and now it brings me to my library. Okay, so it these are all gonna look similar on your iPhone if you're starting from the Loom screen recorder, but what you can do that's so great about this is you can click to share this, and it might take you a second. If we hit the share via, we can then uh, share via your email, via text, whatever, or we can just hit copy link and put that in an email and send it along. What I love about this is that when you record natively with Screen Recorder on your iPhone, it's going to be heavy. It's going to be a large file. And I've found that really difficult with my family and friends trying to get a video file from them just turns into this natural headache. I'm I have Dropbox and I'm able to share it there, but people can't seem to figure that out or we're trying to airdrop, but we're not close enough. All these little challenges happen. And so I love that Loom kind of just bypasses all of this. Um, one gotcha I want you to be aware of, this file effectively lives in the cloud on Loom's cloud storage. But this is um, not public or publicly available to anyone, but it is on their cloud servers. Just something to be aware of. So that's the phone method. I hope that helps. Let's look at the other method, which maybe you want to do it right from your computer. Awesome. In that case, I would say Loom again. Same things, but you can do Loom right on your P PC or your Mac. All right. First, go to loom.com in a browser. Go to the sign in or get Loom for free. I think they're the same steps. Same thing. Create a, a, a sign up for free if you don't have one. Or if you have a Google or an Apple account, use one of these to log in. I'm going to use Google. You can see my existing videos I just made on the iPhone. But let's say you don't have any. Don't worry about that. You won't have any in your videos folder. You can do new video or record a video. I think they're going to do exactly the same thing. And then it's going to prompt you to get started. Once I click it, it's going to wake up this little recorder thing. Make sure that you have a microphone that's enabled click on the microphone and make sure if you have a headset, Bluetooth, different things connected to your computer, then you'll want to make sure you're talking into the right mic. Sometimes I think I am and I'm actually talking into my uh, my Bluetooth headset that's you know way in the corner of the room, whatever, right? So it's not going to work out very well. Um, just make sure that you've got the right recorder. And then um, you know you may not really care to be on camera. That's fine. I'll hit new video. I'm going to hit full screen, full screen, and I'm going to make sure my USB video is off. I don't want that. I'm going to hit start recording. It asks for which screen you'd like to share if you have multiple monitors. If you only have one monitor, one laptop, whatever, just choose that monitor there, click share. And then it's going to give you, you know, a quick countdown. Now come into Fusion and do the same things. Describe this for that person. If you said, 
right here on this face, I want this to be extruded up to match to where it would be fully supported. And this is the assembly I'm working on. These are the components. If I hide this one, you can see my problem a little bit better. You can see this texture. I don't like this texture. Can you help me apply a different appearance? Can you show me how to get rid of this appearance? Be as thorough as you can. Avoid sending long text descriptions without visuals. Please don't assume people know exactly what you mean. Try to provide more context for them and don't try to attach large video files in an email. It's just not gonna work. So hopefully Loom helps you, whether it's recording on your computer or recording on your phone in order to share your files a little easier. I'll see you guys in the next video.